Hey guys, welcome back to Brothers Math Club. Today's topic is adding and subtracting like and unlike terms with exponents. So, what are like and unlike terms? Well, like terms means that they're the same. There's two factors. Well, I'm um, making sure that the terms are like. Is the first one is that it has to have the same variable. The second one is that the power of the variable has to be the same. Okay. And unlike terms are not same. So, they do not possess um these characteristics. And since the topic is adding, subtracting like and unlike terms, I just want you to let you know that we cannot add or subtract unlike terms. We can only add and subtract like terms. So first, let uh, let's um, do a problem with only addition. So we have 2x plus 3y plus 3x. Okay? So... Remember, to find if they're like or um, unlike, uh, I mean, to find if they're like, we have to um, first find if, the, if they have the same variables. Okay? So, in 2x, we know that the variable is x. In 3y, we know that the variable is y. And in 3x, the, we know that the variable is x. So, we see something common. We see x. So, we see x in 3x and x in 2x so we found two common uh, terms okay now to check if they're really like terms what we have to do is we have to look at the two characteristics so they do have the same variable but does the power of the variable um, is same so uh, 2x they, we don't have a power we don't have an exponent so we can make that a 1 Okay, so 2x to the power of 1. And since we don't have a, um, a power in 3x, we can write that also as 1. 3x to the power of 1. So they are the same. We can add these two. So when you add 2x plus 3x, we get 5x. And then remember um, the positive 3y well this is the term that is unlike from these two so we cannot do anything with it so i'll just go ahead and bring it down into my answer so plus 3y so the answer to this expression is 5x plus 3y okay now let's do another problem now we have now let's do a problem. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be longer, and this time we won't have exponents. We'll put the put those later on. So we have four x minus three y plus two x to the x. Okay, and then minus let's say one. I mean. Why do I have to write 1? Oh, yeah, and remember that whenever you have, like, 1x or negative 1x, you can just write it as x, okay? And then plus y. Okay, so here's my um, expression. So, remember, first things first, you need to find out which terms are like because unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted. So, to find that out, first we need to see that if the t uh, variables are alike. So in 4, we have 4x, so the variable is x. So I'll just make an x category just to list list out my um, uh, list out the terms that have x as a variable. Okay? And then we go to negative 3y, and the variable is y. So I'll make a y category. So I can put all the terms with y as a variable underneath okay so I can just go ahead and write 4x and negative 3y and now we move on and we have um, positive 2x so I'll write 2x 
because remember x and x they're the same and then we have minus x x is a variable here so I'll just go ahead and write negative x and then we have positive y so y is a variable here so I'll just write y okay so now we have to solve each of these cat in each of these categories so we have positive 4x positive 2x and negative x so we know that since um the variables in all of these are the same I can just bring it down so I just put x now positive 4 and net positive 2 make positive 6 and then remember if there's no um constant in front of the x then it's going to be 1 so positive 4 positive 2 minus 1 give us 5 so 5x five now we go into the y category and we have negative 3y and positive and remember if it doesn't have a constant then it's going to be 1 so positive 1y now we know that since the variables are the same I'll just bring it down negative 3 and positive 3 give us negative 2 so negative 2y now that's if we've solved it now all we have to do is go put, put, put it together so we have 5x from here and then minus 2y from here okay and now when you put it together this is the answer to this expression okay so it was simple as that now let's do another problem this is a final problem so with this it's going to be much trickier because now we're, we're going to be introducing exponents so now let's say that we have 4 x y okay so we have double variables now and I'll tell you how to do these so for x y and then I have minus 2 y to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 minus 5 x and then plus x now how do you solve this expression it may look confusing but don't let it confuse you because this is really simple First things first, you need to find the like terms, because that's what we're solving for, remember? That we cannot add or subtract unlike terms. So, first of all, we go through and we find 4xy. So, I'm going to go ahead and create a xy category. Okay? So, over here, I'll put all the, um, the terms that have xy as their variable. And then we keep on moving and we find negative 2y to the power of 2 so y to the power of 2 I'll just make that category okay so here I'll put all the terms with y to the power of 2 y as a variable and 2 as their exponent okay so now we have an exponent so I can just go ahead and write 4 x y underneath this category and negative 2y to the power of 2 under this, this category. We move on and find plus y to the power of 2. This will fall under this category. And then we have negative 5x. Okay, so now there's another category. Now let's make that one. So basically, I have x. And then, so here I'll write all the um, terms that have x as their variable. Just x, no exponent. Okay? So I'll tell you, there's an exponent here, but I'll tell you later. So negative 5x. And then we have plus x. I'll just go ahead and write that down as well. Now let's solve from each category. 4xy can, uh, is not going to be added or subtracted to anything. So I'll just go ahead and write that down as it is. So 4xy. Now, as you can see here, y to the power of 2 category, you see that it's negative 2y. To the power of 2 and then we see that is um, y to the power of 2 now since the y the, um, there's no um, constant be, um, before that we can write 1 and this is gonna be positive 1 y to the power of 2 so when we solve this we know that y to the power of 2 y to the power of 2 they're the same I can just bring that down plus minus 2 and plus 2 give us negative 1 y to the power of 2 okay so I can go ahead and add this into our answer so minus 1y to the power of 2. Now we come in here to the x category and we find that we have negative 5x. 
minus uh, and uh, and then we have x so x does not have a constant before so i can write x i, I mean i can write one and one will have the um the power i mean the integer of positive okay so then we can bring down the x because x and x are the same and so minus five and plus five you give us minus four x so um we're going to write this as negative 4x. Now, um, another thing I want to tell you guys, I just told you guys before, that over here we have negative 1y to the power of 2. Now, remember, you can always change this. You can let it um, be as it is, but you can also um, erase the 1 because the 1 really doesn't have any uh, uh, value. It does have value, but we can also just write it as negative y to the power of 2. Okay? So, our answer is because remember one times any number is one so that's why so our answer now is 4xy so let me just circle it so 4xy minus y to the power of 2 minus 4x to this expression now it wasn't that easy now it may some and to some of you it may seem hard but when you practice this i'm pretty sure that this will become really easy for you it's going to become like a habit you know so um stick around for more videos and we'll see you guys next time bye